Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm watching episode number 6 from season 7 of Game of Thrones. And episode 5 had some pretty big events take place that I expect we're going to see play out here over the course of these next two episodes. And then of course, the final season. One of those events we saw was where Arya was watching as Littlefinger had people coming and whispering to him and he's whispering to them. And then he received that scroll and Arya broke into his room to see what was on that scroll. And that seemed to be Littlefinger's plan. He wanted her to do that because as she was leaving his room, he was off in the corner watching her come out of his room. And he had a bit of a smile, a bit of a satisfied smile, as if to say, I love it when a plan comes together, to quote Hannibal from the A-Team. And then we also had Sam, not necessarily a big event, but I guess it could be a big event and I just don't know it yet. But it was an event anyway that we were watching. Sam has decided to quit trying to become a maester, or at least to steal some of their books and leave. I would assume he's not going to be welcomed back after, after that. So we'll have to see if maybe that, that happens. So that was one of the events that sticks out in my mind from that episode. And also we saw the return of Jorah coming back to Daenerys' side. And of course Jon meeting him, having served under his father. And now they've come together. And there actually brings us to another big event that took place. They are on a mission together, John and Jorah, and a number of other people. They are going to try to capture a White Walker to take back to prove to Cersei that that is their common enemy and that that is who they need to be fighting right now. Maybe they'll come, come to a meeting and say, we can fight amongst ourselves later, but if we don't destroy this enemy that's coming at us, it's not going to matter who wins or loses here. We all lose. So whether Cersei is going to be reasonable enough to see this and to understand this and to go along with this remains to be seen. But if she is presented with a White Walker, maybe she will come to understand that it, it would be best for them to set their differences aside and join forces and fight this enemy that has the ability to destroy the whole realm. But like I said... Is Cersei reasonable enough to to see this? Or is she just blinded by her own ambition and her, her own hatred and all of that? We will have to see, I guess. So those were some of the, the major events that, that we saw. Of course, well, there were some other little tidbits here and there. We got the Hound coming back, and he's one of those that are going to be heading north to try to capture a White Walker. And Gendry is back. So there was there was a little bit throughout the whole episode, little tidbits here and there, followed by these few large events. Oh, and of course, John was introduced or introduced himself to Drogon. So he is acquainted with the dragons now, or at least one of the dragons. And when he held his hand out for Drogon to sniff like you would with a dog, and then he petted him. Drogon seemed to lighten up a little bit, and he wasn't quite as fierce anymore. So it's going to be interesting to see if Jon starts to develop a, a relationship with these dragons as well, because as it was pointed out in the, in the comments, which had been on my mind as well while I was watching, but I did, just didn't say anything, was that he's a Targaryen, so maybe there is a bond between the Targaryens and the dragons, and this dragon can sense that he has Targaryen blood within him. So maybe that's going to play a role at some point here go down the road. Can't be too far down the road because we don't have too far down the road to go anymore. But we will see just where this is going to lead us. Now, if you're interested in watching any of my full-length reactions, you can head over to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash 31mike. Now let's go ahead and jump into the episode and see how John is making out up in the north. I'm really curious to see how they're going to capture a White Walker, if they're going to actually be successful in capturing one. You all right? Mm. Ever been north before? Never seen snow before. <laughs> Beautiful, eh? I 
I can breathe again. Hmm. Down south, the air smells like pig shit. You've never been down south. I've been to Winterfell. That's the north. <laughs> How do you live up here? You've got to keep moving, and that's the secret. Walking's good. Fighting's better. Bucking's best. There's not a living woman within 100 miles of here. We have to make do with what we've got. <laughs> he didn't like the sound of that. This one's maybe not so smart. <laughs> Devil says he's a strong fighter. Good. That's more important than being smart. Smart people don't come up here looking for the dead. No. So, we met this dragon queen, huh? And, and she'll only fight beside us if I bend the knee. Man's Raider was a brave man. The king beyond the wall never bent the knee. How many of his people died for his pride? Hmm. Well, he makes a good point there. Maybe he's trying to convince John that bending the knee doesn't really matter as long as he is a good leader for his people. You still mad at us, boy? You sold me to a witch, a priestess. Do you know what she did to me? She strapped me down on the bed. She stripped me naked. Sounds all right so far. <laughs> and put leeches on me. <laughs> Was she naked too? Could have been worse. She wanted to kill me. But they would have killed me if it wasn't but for Davos. But they didn't, did they? So what are you whinging about? I'm not whinging. Your lips are moving and you're complaining about something. That's whinging. <laughs> this one's been killed six times. You don't hear him bitching about it. <laughs> the first time I went north of the wall was with your father. He was a good man. Can't think of a worse way for him to go. The Night's Watch was his life. He would have died to protect every one of those men. But they butchered him. I hate that he died that way. My father was the most honorable man I ever met. He was good all the way through. And he died on the executioner's block. Your father wanted to execute me, you know. I'm glad he didn't catch you. Me too. <laughs> yeah, well, that's obvious. Your father gave me this sword. He's gonna give him the sword. I thought Jeez, he might a pommel from he's a try to. to a wolf. But it's still long claw. Is he gonna give it back? He gave it to you. I brought shame into my house. I broke my father's heart. He's going to give it back to him. I forfeited the right to claim this sword. It's yours. It served you well. And your children after you. <laughs> well, Jor is an honorable man. I've thought that throughout the entire series. Didn't particularly like it when he turned against Tyrion, but that's because I like Tyrion. <laughs> father used to watch us from up here. He wouldn't say much. You probably don't remember you're inside knitting all the time. Hmm. I remember. She still likes to get those little digs in there. One time the boys were shooting arrows with Sir Roderick. Episode one. I came out here after and Bran had left his bow behind. There was one arrow in the target. There was no one around. Just like now. So I started shooting. I wasn't very good. Finally, I hit the bullseye. Could have been the 20th shot or the 50th, I don't remember. And Ned was watching. But I hit the bullseye and I heard this. I looked up and he's standing right here, smiling down at me. I knew what I was doing was against the rules. But he was smiling, so I knew it wasn't wrong. The rules were wrong. I was doing what I was meant to be doing, and he knew it. Now he's dead. Killed by the Lannisters. With your help. Hmm. What? Well, it was with her help to, to an extent. Oh, she's going to show the scroll. That's your pretty handwriting. 
I write to you today with heavy heart. Our good King Robert is dead. Father has been charged with treason against my beloved Joffrey and tried to steal his throne. They forced me to do it. Did they? With a knife at your throat? You don't know what it was like. I was a child. So was I. I would have let them kill me before I betrayed my family. They told me it was the only way to save Father. And you were stupid enough to believe them. I remember you standing on that platform with Joffrey and Cersei when they dragged Father to the block. I remember the pretty dress you were wearing. I remember the fancy way you did your hair. Yeah, she was there watching. You were there? I was there, standing in the crowd near Baelor's statue. And what did you do? Did you come running to the rescue? Did you fight off the land? She tried, it, it, as I recall. I wanted to. But you didn't, just like me. I didn't betray him. I didn't betray Rob. I didn't betray our entire family for my beloved Joffrey. You should be on your knees thanking me. We're standing in Winterfell again because of me. While you were off where, traveling the world? I was training. Training? Well, while you were training, I suffered things you could never imagine. Oh, I don't know about that. I can imagine quite a lot. Hmm. You never would have survived what I survived. I guess we'll never know. I don't know. Area is pretty tough. What's she going to do with that letter? I don't know yet. What are you scared of? You didn't commit any crimes. No one's going to hang you. Are you scared of John and he'll be angry? No. That's not John. He'll understand you were just a scared little girl, all alone with the wicked Lannisters. To tell You're scared the Northern Lords will read it. Hmm. Somebody else would, would be happy as little. They knew how she did Cersei's bidding. What would little Lyanna Mormont say? She's younger than you were when you wrote this. Are you going to say, but I was just a child? Yeah, this this is what Littlefinger wanted right there. Now, what the purpose of that is with Littlefinger, I don't know yet. But it is serving his purpose. Are you born mean or you just said wildlings? I don't give two shits about wildlings. It's gingers I hate. Gingers are beautiful. <laughs> we are kissed by fire. Just like you. Don't point your fucking finger at me. <laughs> Tormod likes him. Did you trip into the fire when you were a baby? I didn't trip, I was... I have a beauty waiting for me back in Winterfell. If I ever get back there... Brienne? <laughs> yellow hair. Blue yep. eyes. <laughs> tallest woman you've ever seen. Almost as tall as you. Oh yeah, Brienne he knows Tarth. who that is. You know her? You're with Brienne of fucking Tarth. <laughs> well, not with her yet. <laughs> but I see the way she looks at me. How does she look at you? She wants to carve you up and eat your liver. Hmm. You do know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hadn't thought about Brienne and, and the house. Like. Do you know what I like about you? I honestly don't. You're so. not a hero. Oh. Well, I've been heroic on occasion. I once Battle of Blackwater charged Bay. through the mudgate of King's Landing. I don't want you to be a hero. <laughs> Heroes do stupid things and they die. Drogo, Jorah, Dario, even this. Jon Snow. They all try to outdo each other. It's interesting, these heroes you name. Even this Jon Snow. They all fell in love with you. Hmm. Jon Snow's not in love with me. Oh, my mistake. I suppose he stares at you longingly because he's hopeful for a successful military alliance. <laughs> he's too little for me. But she's his aunt. I didn't... Mean. Zero's go means <laughs> quite little. I know you're brave. I wouldn't have chosen a coward as my hand. How do we ensure your vision endures? After you break the wheel, how do we make sure it stays broken? You want to know who sits on the Iron Throne after I'm dead? Is that it? You say you can't have children, but there are other ways of choosing a successor. I don't remember that. Watch she can't have children? The Ironborn, for all their many flaws, have another. We will discuss the succession after I wear the crown. Your Grace, I saw hundreds of arrows fly towards you when you fought on the Blackwater Rush, and I saw hundreds of arrows miss. But any one of them could have found your heart and ended you. You've been thinking about my death quite a bit, haven't you? Huh. 
That conversation turned quickly there, didn't it? We will discuss the succession after I wear the crown. Yeah, that conversation turned real quick there. A bear. Big fucker. Ah. That's it for him. Now, who was that that just got eaten? Bears that are already dead. So the dragon glass should actually work on them, shouldn't it? Well, the hound needs to get over his fear of fire. Yeah, he needs to get up and get over it. That must have been dragon glass. Now that, that's the man that can bring the other guy back to life, isn't it? Go on. Yeah, well, you gotta cauterize. You all right? I just got bit by a dead bear. <laughs> Funny old life. Well, they have uh, some tracks to follow back. At least while they last. Where did she get it? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, he knows. He she knows. seems very resourceful. You're worried. Yes, they turned their backs on John when it was time to retake Winterfell. Then they named him their king, and now they're ready to turn their backs on him again. How far would you trust men like that? Or bloody wind veins. If they found out that I wrote that letter, a woman who's already married not one but two enemies of her house... That's right, Tyrion. By the time John comes back, he'll have no army left. Oh, he's not like them. She's your sister. You may have disagreements, but she would never betray her family. She would if she thought I was going to betray John. Perhaps Lady Brienne could help. How would she's Brienne sworn help? to protect both of Catelyn Stark's girls. Is she not? She is. And if one of you were planning to harm the other in any way, wouldn't she be on a bound to intercede? She would. So he's really trying to drive a wedge between them. Yeah, you can hear something. Is this the army of the dead? Now, how do they capture one and then safely get it back to where they're going? Oh, I saw that fire sitting out there. Is this a trap? Bait? To capture him? Yep. I'm assuming they want to bring him back alive. Well, they're not bringing him back alive. Well. Kill the White Walker, the soldiers die. Well, he didn't. Yeah, you gotta shut him up. Because <laughs> I have a feeling that cry was a call for help. Yeah, I hear that thunder. I have a feeling help is on its way. Run back to Eastwatch. Get a raven to Daenerys. Tell her what's happened. I'm not leaving you. You're the fastest. Go! Now! Now, how far away from Eastwatch are they? 
Well, that's not good. You need to turn around and get off that ice. Yeah, I, I think I'd be heading back where I can. Of course, you get back on land, they fall in. If the ice breaks. Yeah, there you go. I had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> and they're just going like sheep over a cliff. But does that, well, I was going to say, does that kill them? But they're the army of the dead. What does that do to them? Are they going to come back out? Oh, I see. They're surrounded. Well, I guess if he can get a crow out or a raven out. Area, she can come up there with a dragon. He's got a long way to go. A short time to get there. But you don't want to lay down in the snow for too long. Oh, he was there. He made it. What happened? Where are the others? Raven. We need to send the Raven. Get the Maester. Now! Oh, he's died. So. so that means if he was the one bringing him back to life, it's not going to work anymore. We have to burn his body. We'll all be close behind him. Unless the Lord of Light is kind enough to send us a bit of fire. Hmm. Fire from a dragon, maybe? It's not safe. Well, Sir Jamie will be there. He said he treated you honorably before. I'm not worried about me. <laughs> worried it's about not her. safe leaving you with Littlefinger. I have many She's guards right about who that. happily imprison him or behead him whether or not you're here. And you trust their loyalty? You trust he hasn't been speaking to them all behind your back? I'm not a child. I am the Lady of Winterfell and I am home. This is the safest place for me. I swore an oath to protect you and your sister if I abandon you. The trip you. to King's Landing is long, Lady Brienne, and you won't be traveling on summer roads. The sooner you leave, the better your chances of making it on time. Well, it sounds like we're going to have a yes, reunion with her and Jamie. But Brienne's right about leaving her with Littlefinger. She just can't see it yet. Or if she can, she's not letting on. You can't. The most important person in the world can't fly off to the most dangerous place in the world. Who else can? No one. They knew the risk when they left. Well, she's dressed can't for the throne snow. If you're dead. Can't break the wheel if you're dead. So what would you have me do? Nothing. You told me to do nothing before and I listened to you. I'm not doing nothing again. Well, we still have a season and an episode to go. I don't anticipate her dying here. He's going to throw rocks at him. And somebody go pick it up and throw it back. Well, now they see that the water is frozen, so that wasn't necessarily a good idea. Oh, fuck. Yeah. 
Yeah, he should have left those rocks alone. Well, Canarius needs to hurry up. Fall back! Fall back where? Oh, we're gonna lose Tormund here. I guess not if Jorah can help it if he can get over there. Oh, the hound came to his rescue. I thought we were going to lose him there for a second. Well, with that many to fight off, you can kill a bunch of them, but there's still a whole bunch left. So they really need Daenerys to get there. Like I say, they're doing well. They can, they can destroy a bunch of them. But you see how many is out there. Here comes the dragons. <laughs> yeah, that dragon fire will melt that, that ice real quick. But do they have any kind of a defense against dragons? Can, can they knock them out of the sky? Now, if she could hit that Night King. Yeah, I think they need to climb aboard. <laughs> Yeah, John needs to get get done with what he's doing to try to get up on that dragon so they can take off. Yeah, he's gonna he's aiming for a dragon. Now, what happens with the dragon here? Because if they kill a person, a person becomes a member of the army of the dead. Wow. I think they need to be leaving about this point. Now, which dragon was that? I think John needs to get up out of there. <laughs> yeah, John needs to get get, get going. Go! Go! No! 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 She can turn that dragon around and breathe fire on him. John, how do they get John? Is he going to be a member of the Army of the Dead now? Yeah, I kind of think she had a, a real soft spot for John. Thought he might pop up out of that water. But all those clothes he's wearing have got to be heavy. And 
being soaking wet in the, in the cold like that, he would freeze to death very quickly. Is this his uncle, Benjamin? Yep. Uncle Benjamin? Oh, you're right. Out of pass. Come with me. There's no time. Go! He's kind of vulnerable now. Yeah, they got him. That's what I was saying. He was really vulnerable, but there by himself without a horse. But he sacrificed himself for John. I'm assuming he sacrificed himself. Wow, Daenerys lost a dragon. We'll meet again, Clegane. Fucking hope not. <laughs> It's time to go, Your Grace. A bit longer. She's waiting for John. Here he comes. Yeah, I just heard Ryder approaching. Yeah, even on horseback, if he was soaking wet out in that weather, out in that snow and freezing conditions, it wouldn't last long. Oh, she's going to see this. Yeah, where he was stabbed. Now, how does he explain that? Or will he explain that? This is Arya's room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's her faces. And there she is. Not what you're looking for. <laughs> I have hundreds of men here at Winterfell, all loyal to me. They're not here now. <laughs> what are these? My faces. Where did you get them? In Bravos. While I was training to be a faceless man. What does that mean? Is she gonna show her? Back in Bravos, before I got my first face, there was a game I used to play. The game of faces. It's simple. I ask you a question about yourself, and you try to make lies sound like the truth. If you yeah. fool me, you win. If I catch a lie, you lose. Let's play. Sansa's scared. I don't want to play. How do you feel about John being king? Is there someone else you think should rule the North instead of him? Those faces, what are they? Who asked you the asking? Are you sure? The game of faces didn't turn out so well for the last person who asked me questions. Tell me <laughs> what they are. We both wanted to be other people when we were younger. Neither of us got to be that other person, did we? But I can now. With the faces, I can choose. I can become someone else. I could even become you. Hmm. A bit of a threat there. I wonder what it would feel like to be the Lady of Winterfell. All I'd need to find out is her face. Is your face. <laughs> yeah, that kind of scares her a bit. A lot. And she stayed by his side the whole time. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I could take it back. 
I wish we'd never gone. Well, it was necessary, I guess. I don't. If we hadn't gone, I wouldn't have seen. We have to see it to know. She wouldn't have seen the army of the dead. We are going to destroy the Night King and his army. We'll do it together. You have my word. And he doesn't have to bend the knee, apparently. Thank you, Danny. Danny. He was the last person who called me that. Her brother? I'm not sure. Was it my brother? Mm. Not the company you want to keep. Hmm. <laughs> he got his crown no, of gold, though. Not Danny. Not about my queen. I'd uh, bend the knee, but... Hmm. What about those who swore allegiance to you? They'll all come to see you for what you are. I hope I deserve it. You do. Well, yeah, but how is his army going to react to that, respond to that? Is she starting to have feelings for him, or is she starting to sense a little bit of a connection? out of the water. Well, we saw that that bear was dead already. So he can do this to the dragon. And then the army of the dead has a dragon. Focusing in on his eye. Yep. Well, now how do they how how do they fight? They being Daenerys and John and the good guys. How do they fight a dead dragon? Is this where Cersei's weapon? That hit Drogon is going to come in handy? Or will the dragons, the other two dragons, be able to defeat this one? Will they even fight that dragon since they are siblings, if you will? That was a, a costly battle that they had to go into to where they lost a few men. And the one that has come back to life six times lost the man that was bringing him back to life. And they lost that dragon. That's the biggest loss. Because not just losing the dragon is a loss. The army of the dead gaining a dragon is is huge. I'm surprised they put this... Well, I guess this would be... Episode 6 would be episode 9 if it was a 10-episode season. But this is something I would have expected to see in the final episode of the season. And then you have that dragon's eye open and have it blue like that. And then you wait. You have to wait till the next season. That's what I would expect to have seen. Which probably means there's going to be something even bigger in the next episode. And then you've got... I almost said Cersei. You've got Sansa and Arya having their sibling rivalry. And rekindling old... Old hatreds or whole old, old disputes, I guess. And bringing up some new ones. So that's that's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen between the two of them. But that's what Littlefinger wanted to do. That's why he made that scroll available for Arya to find. He wanted this to happen. And it, it's all part of his plan. And I'm I'm not quite sure how this helps his plan. By dividing them. But... It's part of his plan, to be sure. 
So there's one episode left, and then that's the finale of season seven, and then seven episodes in season eight, or is it eight episodes? It's not a full 10-episode season, I know that, but we only have seven or eight more episodes to go, eight or nine more episodes to go, something like that, and then we're finished with the whole series. But I do know that they are filming. I don't know if they've started filming yet, but I know that there is a new series in the plan. It goes back in time a thousand years or something like that. So that'll be interesting to watch once that's available to watch. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts or observations about this episode, please leave some comments down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the season finale of Season 7.